Hello, air signs. Welcome back. I am here to do your reading for the last two weeks of September. We're going to take a look into the cards and see what's in store for you. This is for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So if you have a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in any of those placements, then this reading could be for you. If it doesn't resonate, please check it out. It wasn't meant for you. Uh, but if it did resonate with you, then I hope that it was helpful. Uh, thank you so much for all of your support. I appreciate it so much. And, um, Air signs, I, I, okay, just off the get-go in your pre-shuffle, I was getting the sense that um, there's a block around something starting that is of the nature of this material world, um, something new that could bring in some abundance for you, some sort of support in that financial way. Um, and it's possibly due to something being lost within you like there's a part of you that you lost along the way and it's about to be found and unblock this new um this this new start that wants to happen for you uh so there, there's something here about something was lost within and now you found it is kind of just what's kind of coming through so um also uh air signs you're going to get a little shameless promotion from me uh, about my alchemy program because it's just started. And if any of you guys are interested in joining it, we've already started. Everything's recorded and put into a library and archive so you have access to it always. Um, and it's a monthly program. And uh, we met on Sunday and it's been great. So if you're interested in being a part of that, well, you're going to get a little taste of my little transition of the energy around it. So without further ado, um, air signs. Let's jump into the reading and find out what's in store for you for the last two weeks of September. <sighs> okay, yeah, that's my little alchemy program. So if you guys are interested, all that information in the description below, if you want to check it out, find out more details on how you can get involved and be part of it, get some mini coaching from me. Um, and also understand what's happening in your life according to the planetary alignments and, and all of that, then uh, that's what that program is all about. It's about helping you transform through your own alchemical process of self. Um, so, <clears throat> air signs, let's get into your reading. Let's find out what's in store for you for the last two weeks of September. What is going on in my air signs world? What do they need to know about? What kind of advice guidance confirmations will be helpful to them serving them to their highest good and their highest light only oh my god you gotta be joking me guys <laughs> you got the alchemy card um oh my gosh and it's a number eight we talked about the number eight in the alchemy course on sunday night um because it came up the eight oh gosh all right. Well, you know what? If you're interested, you guys can go sign up. Um, the frequency of alchemy activates your, our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside. Each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. Whoo! Air signs. You're going through some major self transformation right now. You are. There is a major change happening within you um there and again this is why I, like i felt like there is something lost that now is going to be found so there is a part of you that you felt has been lost like you haven't disconnected from it and it's prevented you from like starting this new abundant part of your life that i feel is going to be abundant in a way that you didn't even know was possible okay it could transcend financial abundance it could be a completely different kind of abundance um Let's go into fairy cards and find out. I totally hit my funny bone on the chair here. So my left hand is vibrating and numb like crazy. So, okay, let's find out for air signs. What other information can they know about this um, alchemy process they're going through? Wow. Okay. We have um, three cards that came out. We have Gluminous Doom, Spirit Dancer, and Iris of the Rainbow. Okay, so right away um, with these two cards here, um, air signs, this is about, Gluminous Doom is about like seeing things from a point of view that you've been kind of feeling like things just aren't going your way um, or there's a part of you that's really sad and just feels like things are just doomed around you for some reason. 
Um, and you may have been going through something, air signs, that has brought on this kind of energy. But when you have Iris of the Rainbow coming in, it's beautiful that these two cards came out together because Iris of the Rainbow talks about the clouds, the storm clouds are finally beginning to part. The rainbow is starting to, to peek out. It doesn't mean you're completely out of the woods yet, but um, I think that's why you have this alchemy process happening. This alchemy process is happening within you because it's there's a need to like clear up the storm. Um, that you, you want to depart the storm here. Um, I'm just gonna move this over here. And then um, just do this. We have spirit dancer, okay? Right away, the message that's intuitively coming in for me is that spirit is actually dancing through you and it's awakening something within you to, to, to have this alchemical process. Um, let's go into the book here because there's this need to, when the spirit dancer comes out, there's a need for creativity. There's a creative process within you, a need to also like move your body. But I get a sense that you may have been stuck in something and now it's time for movement. Um, and it's being guided by spirit for you. Uh, let's just, oh my, wow, I opened right up to the, page so self-expression freedom and exploration so there's a part of you that really wants to explore a part that you haven't expressed fully um and I'm getting a sense that because this, you haven't been able to express this part of you, it's kind of kept you in this kind of gloominous doom kind of energy of just like, what's the point? Everything's not going to work out anyways. Like, this is just how it is. Nothing's going to change. I can't, that, things are beyond my control. Is what I'm kind of picking up. Um, I just have to deal with it. But there's something awakening within you with the spirit dancer coming in that's awakening this alchemical process and allowing the storm clouds to finally part. There, there's um, there, there's a, a new possibility here on the horizon is what I'm getting. Okay, let's go into the tarot um, and find out for air signs. Okay, what other messages do they need to know about this process they're um, exploring, that they're feeling, this alchemy within them? What messages do they need to know? Confirmations, guidance that will help them through this journey for the last two weeks of September. There we go. Okay. First card is the six of coins. Um, okay. So things are definitely not in balance for you. Um, and I think that's what's sparking this process is that there's just too much, either too, oh, giving and receiving has been out of balance. Okay. Way too much giving and not enough receiving. And there's a need to balance things back for you. Um, I just feel like you weren't you weren't taking care of you. Like this idea of like there's a part of you that was lost, and it's because you were too busy giving to other things or other people. Um, okay. Wow, there's so many cards here. Um, Okay, we have the high priestess, we have the ace of coins, and we have the 10 of swords. So the high priestess, I think, you know, she 
talks about um, listening to your intuition. Uh, she's, it's about exploring all the mysteries of the world. It also talks about secrets. I'm getting a sense that you're going to be um, getting clarity on your own secrets that have been hidden within you, um, air signs. That there is a part of you that has been a mystery for so long and you haven't really been able to figure it out. And that's what's changing right now. That's what this alchemical process is about, is helping you to uncover what those mysteries are. And as a result, you're getting this brand new start. This opportunity is coming in. Opportunity for abundance. Um, that is going to be part of ending a very torturous cycle for you. It's been um, something that has been very painful. You've carried a long burden of, and it's this, this, this is about this opportunity that's coming in here for, uh, that has a, quite an abundant nature to it, is what's going to help end this whole cycle. Um, so we also <laughs> had so many cards fall out here, and I'm just being told to take them. So we have the faith card in reverse. We have the five of coins upright, the four of wands upright, and the two of pentacles. So the faith card here, um, I'm just getting a sense that, like this ties into the do gluminous doom here. There was a lack of faith or a lack of faith a lack of faith, in, and what I'm getting is a lack of faith in the possibilities of things coming out differently for you. Um, a, la a lack of faith that things could actually change and, and be in your favor. And it's created this lack consciousness within you, okay? Five of coins is about feeling like left out in the cold. Okay, you've you've something's happened where you've been kind of iced out or felt left out in the cold. It's also this idea of just like lack of consciousness, unworthiness, like you don't deserve it. Um, that's been part of this process of this 10 of coins, or 10 of coins, 10 of swords um, energy. But you have the four of wands coming out here and the two of um, coins. A lot of coins here. There's just four coins now, the card, cards that come out. So um, you struggle with balancing things. Um, with the two of coins coming up here is the need to, to balance stuff out juggling things and there's a call here now for you to finally bring in balance okay because the scales were not tipped in your favor and it's time to to bring in balance okay that, that's what i'm just getting a sense there's a need to bring in balance because this balance is going to bring you look at the four of wands falls right under the ace of coins okay this is a beautiful card of um stability it's uh, the hap happiness of family coming together. It could be a love that's coming together. Uh, this symbolizes, this is like the 1111 twin flame kind of card where this speaks of um, a union of two people uh, coming together. But more so because it's a four, it speaks of the stability. It speaks of um, getting that stability in a happily ever after for yourself and i get a sense that it's what's sparking this alchemical process within you this desire to finally have happiness for yourself and not constantly be um on the the giving side and and, and allow yourself to finally receive okay um Like you're tired, you're tired of, um, you're tired of this feeling of being iced out. And in a way you kind of iced yourself out, air, air signs. It's like, it's, and it's because of this, um, 
it's a it's this idea of lack consciousness that keeps coming through and 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 when i and it's this idea of like the lost part of you that you haven't integrated yet but you're now starting to integrate like it's starting to happen because with the iris of the rainbow coming in it's like you're finally like you're like no this is the i it's time to pay attention to me it's time to like honor this part of me that i've just kept buried below and not paid attention to you're finally bringing it to the surf and it's going to bring about some beautiful um self-transformation and which will translate into huge change in your life in a very positive way I also I'm getting told to tell you that when I'm looking over at the faith card in reverse, this is the Hierophant and the Hierophant always talks to me about commitment um, and that it was a lack of commitment to yourself, a lack of commitment to the parts of you that really needed to be committed to um, that was causing a lot of this burden, this cycle that's now coming to a close, though. It's, it's going to be ending. You're releasing it. You're at the very end of this um, torturous cycle and then we have yeah we have the king of wands just flew out okay so the king of wands um so this is the energy that's that it's bringing out in you okay this this alchemical process that's happening within you is bringing about a man or woman okay because the king is a masculine energy but could be a you know if you're a woman this is, can pertain to you as well but it's bringing about like the energy of the king of the you, you are the king of all passionate endeavors of yourself you have so much confidence you are not afraid to go after what you want anymore you, you everything is before you and you know exactly where it needs to happen like if there like a talk with the high priestess here where there was things like um things that were hidden from you um things that you weren't able to get clarity on like i feel that you, the if you didn't know how to move forward before, you know exactly how to move forward now. Like th this is what's this card's kind of really coming out. Like you are now ready to take action. The wands energy is about is an action card. Um, you're ready to be like to reign over your own like kingdom. Like you're ready to finally like be in the driver's seat, um, air signs. Um, not feel like things are out of your control. You're in total control now. You, you realize that you can have control here and you're ready to take it. Okay, last message here for my air signs. What do they need to know? Oh, way too many cards. Here we go. Oh, I love it. The world. Okay, so this talks about the closing of a very long cycle, like where you you come out victorious. Um, so this could be like, again, the closing of this painful cycle here. But what it does is it opens you up to the world. You realize that you are like, there's so much more possibility now. You're getting this sense of like where you didn't see the possibility, you now see the possibility. This is about achieving goals. You achieve a goal here that you, I think you've like really needed to achieve for a very long time. And you're going to feel on top of the world um, is, is what um, I'm also sensing here for you, air signs, uh, that through this, process of self-awakening self-transformation um willing to come out of the shadows willing to finally um reclaim the parts of you that you've hidden or have been lost been buried you are now opening yourself up to a lot more possibility and that's beautiful. That's what's happening for you in the last two weeks of September air signs. That's my reading for you. I hope it was helpful. If you need your own personal reading, all that information in the description below. And of course, if you want more information on the alchemy program, I will link all that below as well. Air signs, I love you. Have a wonderful day and I'll be back with you all really soon.